Now we want to look a little bit more into Atrium Orchestrator and how we bridge the gap between the element manager, may it be the patrol agent, true side environment, may it be database automation solution, may it be our Blade Logic server automation solution, network automation, or a third party vendor. How do we get the element managers and their respective API into a state that can be used for orchestration? Well, we know that APIs are being called on this lower level and specific intelligence is being built into that automation solution. We understand that this needs to be wrapped in a fashion that can be used on the orchestration side. So what Atrium Orchestrator does, it encapsulates these individual automation processes and wraps them into a workflow that can be used within the context of orchestration. In order to accomplish this, we need to normalize the data and the way we interact with this process. From an orchestration perspective, I need to understand how are the gears that I have on my overlapping workflows. What is the data model that I use to send data back and forth with additional workflows? Atrium Orchestrator uses XML as a means to normalize and abstract the technology and present the data to other workflows in a consistent way. That means that we focus on workflows that are understandable from a human perspective. To read an object, to modify an object, to delete an object, to manipulate an object. These are some activities, regardless of the underlying API, regardless of the underlying element manager that we want to expose. This way, as an Atrium orchestrator who writes workflows, I can focus on the activities rather than the technology that is being used. And if I'm using today, let's say, Microsoft system management in order to manage my Microsoft environment, tomorrow I'm going to use TrueSight. Well, these pieces are exchangeable. My outer workflow will not change just because the inner infrastructure, the inner element manager is being replaced. 